In this video we're going to prove that a recurring decimal is equal to a fraction. So let's take the recurring decimal 0 0.3636. We put these dots to show that it's a recurring decimal. Now the trick is, is we let this number equal x. Now here is the part you have to remember. We look at how many digits are involved in the repeated part of the decimal. So here we have 3636. Three, six. There are two digits being repeated. We then times this number by 100 because 100 has two zeros. So we times it by a multiple of 10 which has two zeros. In this case 100. This is so that we get these two numbers in front of the decimal point. So if we times this number by 100 we'll get 36.3636 recurring. That's equal to 100x. Now, if that is equal to 100x and this is equal to 1x, then if we minus x from 100x, we will get 99x. And what we'll do is because this is the same as this, we'll get rid of that part of the number and we'll end up with just 36. And now this is a simple equation. If 36 is equal to 99x, then x is equal to 36 divided by 99. And there we have proved that a recurring decimal is equal to a fraction. But we're not done yet. Can we simplify this? Well, it turns out, yes, we can. What goes into both of these numbers? 9. 9 will always go into 99. 9 goes into 36 how many times? 4. So we get 4 over 11, 99 divided by 9 equals 11, equals x. And that is the, the, that question. Now to come back to what I said before, I'd just like to prove to you that um, the trick with the number of zeros on the multiple of 10 and the number of digits in the repeated unit of the decimal actually works. We're going to use a 3 repeated unit recurring fraction. So we're going to use... No, 0 0.639639 recurring. Okay, now this has three repeated digits in the recurring part of the decimal, and therefore we're going to have to times it not by 100 this time because that has two zeros, but by 1000. So this is equal to x. So now we're going to times it by 1000. So 1000x will equal 639. 0.639639. Brilliant. Now, if we minus one from the other, again, we're going to get rid of this because these are the same. So you'll get 999x this time equals 639. Now, as before, we have a simple equation here. We just divide 999 over to leave x on its own. So x is equal to 639 divided by 999. Now in your exam, if you don't have a calculator, this is completely sufficient, completely sufficient uh, to leave the fraction like this. If you do have a calculator and it can show you how to simplify this number, then brilliant, use it, because this actually can be simplified. 999 will divide by 9. And 639 will also divide by 9. And this is quite hard to do in your head, but you can see from the number, because 6 plus 3 plus 9 is 18, and 18 is a multiple of 9, that it actually will divide. So what do we get when we divide 639 by 9? We get 71. And when we divide 999 by 9, we get 111. And this is the simplest form of the fraction, and that is the question done.